You probably already know about this blueprint paper. This is the blue paper where you put something on top to cover it up, expose it to sunlight, and then after a few minutes, you bring it in, give it a wash to stop the chemical reaction, and then you're left with beautiful prints. You can use this as arts and crafts in the science classroom, and you can have students design things using positive or negative space, and that's all well and good. You can up-level this by taking students out for a nature walk and finding neat natural shapes, maybe shapes of leaves or flowers, and they can create prints and actually classroom decor in your room for that. But you don't just have to limit this to sort of arts and crafts. You can use this material as a material in an inquiry-based experiment. So an example of this might be students testing different types of light and their ability to create the print. One student might decide to test different color LED lights and have these LEDs shining down on the paper for the same amount of time. So they get some practice with controlled variables. Also, you might have students testing different types of light. So perhaps one experiment is a student will create a print that is underneath the classroom lights, one that is outside in bright sunlight, and maybe one that is under a UV light. So this is a fun way to introduce some inquiry as part of your EM spectrum lessons. I set up an example of this lab just using leaves and the letters CFS because we all are champions for science. One went outdoors, one went under a UV light, and the other one was under indoor light. After washing, you can see there's a big difference in how much the color has changed. 